and here we are back with another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with a soundbar which if you ask me if it's worth it i would say that it totally is price to what it offers really really awesome i will leave a link down below just in case you want to check that out if you are on the market for i would say a budget sound bar but it will not offer budget features it will offer a lot more now one thing that will offer a lot more for a budget it is the keys that we can get from bnh software a platform that we have been using for the past few months and where we can find windows 10 windows 11 home edition or pro edition at a budget everything legit very easy to purchase easy to activate as we have done many times during these past months and we also tested office 2021 so if you are on the market for that i will leave a link also down below now the soundbar has one thing that probably will be a bit annoying but it's only one thing and that is in terms of build quality it has this glossy black plastic that will leave a lot of fingerprints which means that if someone will get close to your soundbar you will say hey move away from there i don't want fingerprints on my soundbar now this is the only thing but honestly it's nothing that would prevent me from purchasing it is really nice in terms of build quality it's solid it doesn't feel plastic it doesn't feel cheap at all it feels really really nice it is a brand that i was not aware but it's really nice this is a ultimea odin model 4 link down below build quality passed my test and if we look at the back we will find a power input jack we will also have the optical in hdmi with arc and we also have usb and auxiliary bluetooth 5.0 which is the at this moment how it's connected to my nvidia shields one of the things that i can uh, share with you is that when we are watching series and things like that with some usb devices there is a desynchronization doesn't happen with this it is totally sync so <laughs> Portanto, existe sempre um limite. Estes meninos têm uma largura de banda de 11.000 megabits por segundo. Watch a video, for example, you will have the lips synced with the sound, which is really important. Now, we can put it on a table such as this. It has some really nice thick rubber feet right over here, which are great to absorb the vibrations that it might do with the sound or we can hang it on the wall because it has these supports right over here which are very very cool on the top we'll have four buttons one is on and off and it's also a cycle through the several inputs we also have a dedicated button for the bluetooth and then volume up and volume down really nice volume really nice audio quality clear <laughs> Fácil ver quantas vezes mais eu vou subir e tirar aqui. Tá vendo meu curtir? I would say that it's more than what we are expecting when we look at the price. It also comes with the remote control with CSC, which means that we can control devices that are connected to this. And just have in mind that it's not a full-fledged remote. So if you have a setup box or a more complex device, probably you will not find all the functions right over here. But if you are browsing YouTube or Spotify or things like that, you will be able to control the music. Now, what we will find on the remote will be the devices that we can connect like Bluetooth Bluetooth, HDMI, optical, auxiliary or USB. We will have the directional buttons and then we will have the equalizer modes. There are nine. I've tested about three or four of them. They all work really nice. But for me, I do prefer music or movie equalizer, which is the ones that will give me more bass. Talking about more bass, we also have dedicated buttons to increase or decrease the bass right over here. And finally, a button on or off the LED that we have at the front right over here. Now, in terms of sound, one of the things that I was curious was about the surround sound. Some devices work really nice, some of them not so good. This one can give us the sensation of the 360 sound. <laughs> Now,
Now, I was able to catch that while I was sitting, but the best was when I was walking, I was honestly feeling sounds from several uh, directions, which is great when a device such as this is capable of doing. We have seen soundbars doing this, we have seen some headsets doing this, and it's great when brands can achieve this level of not only the audio, but also the experience. Talking about audio, 100 watts, so it's quite powerful right over here. It has four ranges. Imagine that it's 25 watts each one, and they will give us the three ranges of sound. There is no dedicated uh, subwoofer right over here, but the sound is good enough to watch a movie without the need for a subwoofer. So if you are watching any series, any movie on your living room, you will have enough bass. If you are a really fan of stronger basses like a cinema, then probably you will need another model with a dedicated subwoofer. But I would say that for 80% of the users, this will be more than enough. So in conclusion, really happy with the experience. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.